Domestic workers provide essential care to the most precious parts of many employers' lives, their children, their elderly parents, and their homes. We have found that the absence of comprehensive labor protections and monitoring mechanisms contributes to domestic workers comprising significant numbers of the victims of forced labor, servitude, and human trafficking. Domestic workers, we ourselves was leading the delegation. We ourselves speak to ourselves. Our basic rights are not recognized, nor respected, and we are often invisible from a social point of view and excluded from the public policies of state. In today's world, vast numbers of women are migrating. They do it precisely because of their love for their families, so that the money they earn can pay for education, health care, and so on. It's the 16th today of June 2011 that freedom at last came for domestic workers around the world. Workers of the world. June 16, 2011 was a momentous day for domestic workers around the world. Since that day, through agitation and active lobbying, four Caribbean islands have ratified, including Jamaica, and our workers are now assured protections. In Jamaica, domestic workers now have the same rights as all other workers. For example, sick leave, public holiday with double time pay, eight hours work day, and we are also protected under the Termination and Redundancy Payment Act. Since Convention 189, we never wasted any opportunity in front of us. In fact, we exhausted every chance and little resources in promoting and pressuring stakeholders to adopt law in protecting the value, visibility, and general well-being of domestic workers. Ha beneficiado a muchos, a muchos países el Convenio 189, haberlo ratificado y haberlo implementado en nuestras leyes, como por ejemplo la seguridad social, como pasó con, con el país de México, con la ratificación del Convenio 189 en Perú y a su vez la Ley de Trabajadora de Casas Particulares, como la ley en el 2013, gracias al Convenio 189 en Argentina, la Ley 26.844. Este Convenio 189 es el convenio madre para poder pedir los derechos que nos corresponden como trabajadoras. Y en África, los trabajadores y las organizaciones de trabajadores domésticos se activan. Et en Guinée particulièrement, les travailleurs domestiques savent qu'ils ont un syndicat qui les défend, qui les protège. Ils ont droit au SMIG, ils ont droit à un travail décent et à même une vie décente. In Europe, before Convention 189, domestic workers had not been on the agenda at all. And this includes trade unions. This has changed. C189 makes domestic work visible. It helps us to fight for domestic workers' rights. Domestic workers have always used creative strategy to organize. We take inspiration from previous generations. We have passed domestic workers' bill of rights from 10 states and two cities. In Asia, the domestic workers in our country become visible. Our biggest achievement so far is that we had the right to access to labor courts, join the union, and organize the unorganized domestic workers. What did it prove to us that day when we got that convention? It shows the power of domestic workers in the world that unite and speak in one voice to free themselves.
In the next 10 years, government must take concrete action to make C189 a reality everywhere. Every day, somewhere, some domestic workers are joining trade unions and making changes. The domestic workers' movement is unstoppable. We will make a difference for ourselves and the generation to come. Please join us.